and welcome back to my channel and today's video I want to share something very important with you and before anything else I just want to let you know that I am NOT an expert on this I am simply sharing what Edward and I experienced okay so let's get to it more please honey I'm home <laughs> So today I want to talk about macular edema and you're probably wondering or asking what exactly is macular edema? So macular edema is the swelling of the macula and the macula is the area of the retina or the back of your eyeball which is responsible for central vision or sharp vision. Now the swelling of the macula is due to the buildup of fluid and when that happens, it pretty much affects your vision or distorts your vision. I know it's kind of hard to understand what I'm trying to say right now, but don't worry. I will explain it to you more, so you just have to keep watching, okay? So what are the causes of macular edema? One of the common causes of macular edema is with people with diabetes. And Edward doesn't have diabetes. So what's next? The other cause is age. Well, Edward is too young to have macular edema as well. So we move on to the next cause. And macular edema is due to stress. And during that time, Edward was going through a lot of stress. First, he just got a new job. And then he also had to work during odd hours, which is 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. It was the night shift. He also had to drive at least two hours from our apartment to his workplace and back after a 12-hour shift. So pretty much he was under a lot of stress. So one day while he was driving from work, he noticed a dark spot or a dark circle in his right vision. So he called me and I told him, maybe you just have something in your eye. And he said, I already checked it and there's nothing. I also remember him saying that it's like a shadow. He's seeing a shadow that doesn't want to go away. So Edward can still drive. He can still do his daily routines, like go to work, read a book, check his laptop or computer and all that. But then it was just very uncomfortable for him to see like a dark circle in his right vision. And so I told Edward, maybe you should try to see a doctor or a specialist. And so after a week, I finally convinced him to set an appointment with an optometrist. So we went to his appointment. They did an eye exam on him. They also dilated his eyes to look and take pictures inside his eyes. And I don't remember if the optometrist explained to us what was going on in Edward's right vision, but I do recall that he suggested that Edward should see a specialist or an ophthalmologist because they have a specialized tool or equipment to check his eyes. And so the day of his appointment with the ophthalmologist came. So we went in there, they did another eye exam on him. They also dilated his eyes. And let me tell you about um, dilating your eyes. So basically your doctor needs to dilate your eyes so that your pupils, the size of your pupils will increase. And by doing so, it will be easier for your doctor to see or to look inside your eyes and take pictures. And getting your eyes dilated, the effects will last for four to six hours. You can probably drive after getting your eyes dilated, but for some people, it might be hard for them to do so, like Edward. So I had to drive him to the clinic and back to our apartment. And let's talk about what happens when you get your eyes dilated. So let's say for example, this is your pupil. After getting your eyes dilated, the size of your pupil will increase. And the tendency is that when your eyes or where your pupils are bigger, there's more light coming in, right? So everything you see is brighter. 
Just imagine you're inside a movie theater and it's dark inside, right? And after the movie, you go outside and the sun is shining bright. So it's hard for you to see because it's too bright. So that's how Edward felt, but worse. For him, as soon as he heads out of the movie theater, there's like a spotlight right in front of him. And so after the eye exam, we learned that Edward has macular edema. And the doctor also said that there's no medication or like pills or eye drops for macular edema. And what Edward needs to do is that he just needs to lower his stress, lower his cortisol level. And if you guys don't know, cortisol is your body's main stress hormones. So due to stress, Edward's cortisol level was high. And that cortisol, or the, which is the fluid, um, started to build up in his right eye and the extra fluid started to leak out of his eye. So basically, the dark circle or the dark spot that Edward was seeing in his right vision, that was the cortisol that was leaking out of his eye or his right eye. And so the doctor, Edward's doctor, said that he should set a second appointment after one month. Then if his condition doesn't improve after one month, that's the time he will be doing a medication injection so his doctor will inject something in his right eye and I don't even want to think about it because it sounds so painful well Edward needs to get three injections but wait there's more because the cost of the injection is two thousand dollars per injection so that's gonna be six thousand dollars total and I was thinking even with health insurance Edward will still have a copay and I don't know how much that is but we were willing to pay whatever amount that was because we need him to get better and macular edema if left untreated it can cause severe vision loss or blindness and it was scary but it's also the thing about macular edema it's also a rare condition but then I don't know Edward he got it all right so what did we do? What did Edward do? One of Edward's co-workers, he gave us a great list on how to lower cortisol level. So first, we added pink Himalayan salt to our food. And by adding pink Himalayan salt to your food, it will help support your adrenal glands. And adrenal glands is the one responsible for hormones that regulate your immune system, your metabolism, your blood pressure, and of course, your response to stress. Next, speaking of food, we also started to eat a healthy diet. So we added more fruits and vegetables to our diet. We ate more salmon, avocado, kale, broccoli. We also started to drink tea. And then we also started to drink warm milk before bedtime to help us get a good night's sleep because Edward needed to get enough rest and enough sleep. Although it's kind of hard for him to do that because he works at night at the time. More please. But then he only works three nights in a row so he can recover for the next four days. And then Edward started to exercise more. He played a lot of basketball and of course, we all know exercise helps reduce stress. And there are also many other benefits to when you exercise. Next, we also tried health supplements. And I've been taking USANA health supplements for about 10 years now. So I recommended one of their supplements, which is called Visionex. And Visionex is something that will help provide nutrients that your eyes need. And last but not the least, Edward started soaking his feet in magnesium salt. Now this is Edward's favorite because this is something that really helped him. When he started doing this, his condition or his eye condition improved and he got better. You can also use Epsom salt, but then magnesium salt is more concentrated. And so I bought Edward a foot spa massager so he could get that full foot spa experience and he loved it. And after doing all that, Edward's eye improved. So we went to his second appointment with his doctor. They did 
another test on him and they saw that the fluid, the size of the fluid decreased and the hole in his right eye, it closed where the cortisol was leaking out of, which was good. But then after over a year, so this happened about a month and a half ago, Edward's eye condition came back. So Edward had macular edema again. And let me tell you what Edward does for a living. Edward is a nurse. He works at the OR or operating room. And due to COVID-19, there was a low census at his unit. So his manager had to talk to him and had to tell him that because they had to put all surgeries, like major surgeries, they had to put them on hold because of the pandemic. They also gave him two weeks for him to find a new job. So Edward felt stressed again. I mean, he's gonna be out with no job, just like that. That's when Edward's cortisol level went up again. The cortisol or the fluid started to build up in his right eye again, and there was nowhere to go, so the extra fluid leaked out of his eye again. And he saw another dark spot in his right vision. So he had to do the list on how to reduce cortisol level. And after one week of doing that, his right eye got better, and thank God it did, because that was another scary moment for us. And the thing is, when it's dark, like for example, he's driving at night, it's harder for him to see in his right eye because he could see the dark circle. And according to him, it's harder for him to see when it's dark. And so, pahamak talaga yung stress. <laughs> and don't be stressed. <laughs> I know it's easier said than done. And especially now, I know that it's hard not to feel stress with a pandemic going on around the world and you see you know, crazy things happening. It's really gonna make you feel stressed, but try not to. Uh, I guess just keep your faith and believe that things will get better. So there you have it. I hope this video somehow helped you in a way to learn about macular edema. But if you know anything about it, if you have any information or you wanna share anything that you know about macular edema, feel free to share it on the comment section below, okay? You can also tell your family and friends about this. Maybe they are experiencing the same symptoms, but actually I hope and I pray that no one will ever get to experience something like this. But then just to educate them, share this video to your friends and family. And then don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, and that's at Angel's Video Diary. Or subscribe to my blog, that's www.mypurplepages.com. And have you subscribed to this channel? If you haven't, don't forget to subscribe, okay? All right, so that's it for now. And until next time, see ya!